This might be one of the most abstract niches on the internet. The diversity of human interest and the way it turns out with time and effort. The way I see it is a warm loving family who started from the bottom slowly working their way to the top massive businesses. This proves that with time and effort, anything can be golden. The channel is a perfect blend of patience and persistence. But recently we saw some comments about them being scammers or comments like the clerks were rude and they were all about the fame so let's debunk their videos and see what comes out of it of doing what we love and building a world around it donna jordan is a great host an entrepreneur a businesswoman and a very thoughtful content creator but the word business always strikes a sort of uncertainty in a world that runs behind money there will be skeptics on a virtual world stage or platform like youtube with people calling them fake and low quality so today, we're here to debunk that. I've been following the channel closely, and even though I might not have the passion for quilting, my weekends are filled with Jordan fabrics and all the innovative directions they've taken. They're a mascot of the human spirit and not giving up. Coming from a garage to a booming business, they motivate me in a way that is very hard to explain. Nonetheless, the argument here was that no one can be perfect and there could be some negative parts to it too. And so, I did see a couple of comments here and there that talked about the authenticity of their YouTube persona. I'm aware that there are certain things more than what meets the eye. There will be bad people and there will be good and what matters is our experience with them. A TripAdvisor posted, This place is so disorganized. Shipping takes forever at least a month. You get totally ignored. They think more highly of themselves than what they really are. Here for fame and not customers. Looking at this comment, it comes from business perspective. And even though it cannot be ignored, there is something that is out of hand. Now if we go over to Matt's workshop, we realize that he makes it by hand. Every piece with hand, so if we see all the vibrant colorful displays of fabrics, it was handmade by one man. Maybe a couple of apprentices, but one man. This shows the dedication the family has when it comes to their craft. And we can tell from their YouTube subscribers that the retail stores are busy as well. It could be a pretty daunting task to handle that much, and so there could be some displeasure during peak hours of business, but that is an inevitable case. On a busy day, not every customer gets the attention they need. Then comes the part where they think more highly of themselves than what they really are. Well, they built a whole empire on something that people don't even think about much, and they deserve to be that, but from what I've experienced, they are some of the most humble people I have ever known. The family takes time to organize everything, from stacking to every little detail. Their work tables are self-made from plywood and storage racks and underneath to make the station more stable with markings on it to ensure precise measurements. The workshop itself is massive and it looks like it was carefully designed to make everything easy. The expert arrangements from the ironing section to the shrink wrap machine, everything stands out. Well, that is what 40 years can get you. I'm sure that they have mastered the art and everything they offer is top notch. I'm sure if you create something like that, you'd be proud too. With all of this, I've concluded that they are some of the most genuine and humble people who aren't worried about money, but are just providing great value to their community by doing what they love. And if you think there is some quality compromise and everything is sorted out in their YouTube channel, they explain, teach, and basically show all what they do in their channel, and so they are as transparent as glass at this point. So if their quality is what you're worried about, then well, their channel shows exactly what you're gonna get. Hand cut fabrics with pre-cuts, Donna also admits that she reads quilting books, and she gets a lot of pattern ideas from these books. This family is as honest and transparent as a business can get, and they motivate me every day to get up and start doing what I love. If you haven't met them yet, we leave a link to their channel. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more content where we introduce you to inspiring people like these and don't forget the bell. Take care, stay safe and we'll see you next time.